Hey everybody and welcome to TPG's World. It is the 3rd of April 2018. And uh, I hope everybody had a great Easter. I hope everybody enjoyed my little uh, April Fool's Day prank that I played on everybody. I'm not really leaving YouTube as you see. But I wanted to make a video today because I wanted to uh, talk about something. Today is the 3rd of April as I said and whew, it's going to be hard for me guys. A year ago today my mom died. And it was the hardest thing I've ever gone through thus far in my life was losing my mom. I remember her being taken to the hospital in the emergency room and being told by a friend of mine who was the nurse that my mom probably wasn't going to make it. She held on, struggling. They kept doing CPR on and off all night until finally at 3, 16 a.m. we let her go. Um, so she died at 3, 16 a.m., on the 3rd of April. I miss my mom, I'm not gonna lie, and when I came to YouTube, um, I came to YouTube because I wanted to be able to talk about my mom and to be able to get over my mom. And I was unable to do so for various reasons, and I'm not gonna get into the reasons, but a lot of things happened to, uh, and, and I was unable to really just share about my mom and talk about my mom and really get over my mom's death. And last night I was talking to some friends and I realized something. To my brother and my sister and some friends I, I haven't gotten over it I haven't barely talked about it and it's it's really rough for me right now because I miss her so incredibly much like there's so much going on in my life and my mom was that person that I went to about everything you know if I had a problem if I had something exciting my mom was that person she was my best friend in a lot of ways we fought like cats and dogs sometimes don't get me wrong but what parent and child don't fight at times but I really do miss her a lot. And I've decided that I'm going to start opening up a little bit more about my mom. I just didn't want people attacking my mom or saying mean things about my mom's death or anything. But I've just come to the conclusion that there's a lot of meanness on YouTube and it's just going to happen. So let it happen. But as long as you don't let it affect you, it's not affecting you. So if people want to come at me for that reason, it's not going to affect me because I know the truth. I know what my mom was like. I know who I am as a person and the people I love as a person. So it's okay. But yeah, my mom passed away from, she had had surgery and uh, she was in and out of sick, she got sick, her lungs, and she was in and out of all that surgery. Um, she was put in like a medical coma uh, where her lungs weren't working right. She was getting sicker and sicker. She got out of all that. She ended up going into a nursing home. She didn't like that when she got pneumonia at that nursing home well, and sepsis and wound up back in the hospital again. Uh, very, very sick. Uh, she ended up going into another nursing home where she was struggling to walk. They didn't know if my mom would ever walk again. And finally, she ended up getting very, very sick one set. I, was, I had seen her on Friday and I had left. I was in a big hurry to go do something. And I left and something told me to go back in my mom's room and kiss her again and tell her I loved her. So I ran. I mean, I ran all the way back in the room. And I said, Mom, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you Sunday. Because I wasn't going Saturday. I had, I think I was going to the lake or something or somewhere with some friends. And I said, but I'll see you Sunday. And next week, which is spring break, which is what yesterday, which is what yesterday started for me, spring break. Uh, or what we call Master's Week here because the Master's is held close by where I live. Um... I said, I'll see you, you know, I'll be here to help you with your training that day because a lot of the therapy that she was doing in her rehab in the nursing home was stuff that I've done with students and stuff. So I was going to just go there and help her kind of be her coach, whatever. Well, Sunday afternoon, I was putting my shoes on to go to the hospital, I mean, to go to the nursing home, my bad. And my dad called and said, you need to go to the emergency room. They're rushing your mom in the emergency room. She can't breathe. And it scared me. So I ended up rushing to the emergency room as fast as possible and ended up, that was it. My mom you know, that was when it all went downhill from there. And just hearing the words, your mom's gone, you have to let her go. Um, my sister wanted me to make the choices to rather not to let my mom go. I couldn't do it. That was my dad's choice to make. I remember rushing home with my best friend, Jamie, in the middle of the night, you know, flying like 90 miles an hour, grabbing my dad, bringing him back up to the hospital so that he could make this choice to let my mom go. Uh, my sister, Talisa, she was there and she literally was sitting there when... Um, my mom went the first time she coded. I'm um, sorry, guys. It's also it's also hard to talk about. She coded, and my sister was in there, and we could hear them breaking my mom's ribs as they were doing the CPR on her. She's screaming. I asked when I left to rush home to get my 
my dad because I knew my dad had to make that call because everybody's waiting on me to make it and I couldn't do it. That's his wife. He had to make the call whether or not to let his wife leave this earth, not me. Had my dad not been alive, then I would have made that call, but it wasn't. So we got home. We got my dad. We got back to the hospital. Literally, my dad walked in the room. He said, I love you, Brenda, and she was gone. Bam. And she coded again. We yanked my dad out the room, put him in the, out in the hallway, and mom was gone. I come back, and Talisa's screaming. My brother's girlfriend's screaming. Mom was gone. And it was absolutely the most terrifying thing I've ever had to put up with. Um, I remember going in and seeing her and just, I miss her so much, guys. I really do. And I haven't talked a lot about her. But um, no one's going to keep me from talking about my mom again on YouTube. No, no hateful troll letters I got. When my mom first died, said I was trying to upstage people. None of that's going to happen anymore. I don't care. My mom is gone, and she deserves to be honored, and that's one of the reasons that I came to YouTube. So I love you, Mom, and I miss you, and today's a rough day. I knew it would be. Her birthday is a week away. When my mom died, we had her birthday. We, she died a week before her birthday. My brother died a week after his birthday, and his birthday was May the 8th. And, I mean, his death day, his birthday was March 1st, and his death date was March 8th. And I didn't really get to do a big tribute to him. I think I did a video about it, but I was in the hospital at that time, in and out of the hospital. So that's when I had my surgeon and everything. So, I, I you know, I just want him to know I love him, too. But they both died a week apart from their birthdays. But when my mom died, we had, she died, we had her birthday the next week. My dad and mom's wedding anniversary was two days after her birthday. Then we had Easter, and then the next month was Mother's Day. So it was all that right there in a row. So, like, next Tuesday is my mom's birthday, and the next, when, like, Thursday is their wedding anniversary. So it's just a lot. It's a lot. But anyway, I just wanted to say I love you guys, and uh, thank you so much for being here all this time and, and showing support and love. Um, I will be live on Uber's channel tomorrow um, with her on her channel tomorrow, and I may go live here in a few minutes myself. But I just wanted to share. Today's a rough day. It really is a rough, rough day. So anyway, guys, I love you, and I will see you later. Remember, especially this is so important right now, hating is a disease, and some folks need to get well soon. Love you. Peace out.